Hey everyone, Magpie 307 here. Thought I'd start making a bit of wine again. I haven't done any wine for a while. So I thought I'd make apple wine this time. Um, I've got six pound of apple, uh, just over six pound of apples. Uh, I perhaps I shouldn't advertise that, but uh, <laughs> six pounds of apples. Um, I've got three lemons, only one lemon I need. So that'll be a bit later on. Need to trim the rind off that. Uh, the pit, not take the pith, <laughs> if you get what I mean. Right, um, and then squeeze the lemon and juice in later on. So I've made a start in the apples. I've got the raisins ready. I've got my yeast nutrient, and of course my yeast. This is the heart of the winemaking. So <laughs> without that, you won't start. It won't ferment. Got my scale, got everything ready, so I'll make a start. Right, I'll just set you down here so you can watch what I'm doing. Basically, it's all I'm going to do is chop up the apples. No special way of doing it. Don't need to take the core out or nothing. No need to peel them. Just basically chop them up small so I can simmer them for five minutes. There's no special way of doing it. Everything can go in. The only things I've done is taken off the the, the um, stalks, that's all. If I chop them up small like that. These are going to simmer for five minutes. So. There we are. They recommend to boil one gallon of water. Simmer these in, the, in a gallon of water. I've reduced it to half a gallon so it saves time in boiling. It'll take an hour to set it, get it all to boil. Right, there's no special way of doing it, so I'll just drop these in the pan. And I'll come back and do a bit more. Yeah, there's no special way of doing it. Basically, I've just chopped them up like this. My little fingers. Yeah, so I'll just get on with it. Right, I'll get on with it and I'll, I'll catch you in a bit. I'll show you then all the apples in the pan. I've got all of this lot to do, it'll take some time, so I'll get back to you in a bit. Right, so a few more apples left, as you can see there. Uh, what I'll do is I'll chop those up. I've moved, moved you around a bit by the way so you can see what I'm doing better instead of having my hand in the way otherwise it'll be all like this all the time and you won't see nothing so there we are as I say I've got my lemons got my sugar ready over there so I'll be measuring that up a bit later on now I'll just complete the chopping of the apples quickly or as the Americans might say real quick um, and we'll get on with it without taking my fingers off. There's no special way of chopping these up, really. It's just basically chopping them up. They'll, they'll fall apart in the pan anyway. So what I'm going to do afterwards is measure three pounds of sugar. And all this settles down and cools off a little bit. Down to 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Or 21 degrees Celsius. I'll add to the sugar. Don't get too hot. And I'll add the the um, yeast nutrient and the yeast and things like that. And oh, I'm not forgetting the raisins. Then I'll ferment on that lot for a while. 
for about 10 days I think. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll record part two. Something to look forward to I think. There's no special way of cutting these up. As long as they go in the pan alright. As long as they go in the pan alright they'll break up in the pan to extract the juice from them. Start the process. The only thing you've got to watch here is a sharp knife, you've got to watch your fingers. Yeah, so get down to this and uh, I'll catch on next bit I think. It's going to take some time to chop this lot up, so I'm not going to bore here by doing this. Um, I'll catch on a bit later on when I add the, when I start boiling the, the fruits and things. Okay. Right, we have the last few apples. Just to chop up. I'll put these in the pan. I've already put the heat on, so there's a half a gallon of water measured in the pan. And I'll start processing the rest of the whatever needs to be done. Oh, by the way, this recipe you can use windfalls, uh, bruised, overripe apples, anything like that. Uh, it doesn't really matter if there's any brown patches or bruises on it, so there we are. Add these to the pan. Just take you over and show you. Alright, I've got all my ingredients in there now. All my apples in there. That's a 10 litre stainless steel pan by the way and there's a half a gallon of water in there which is starting, just starting to warm up a little bit now. I've got to simmer these for 15 minutes. It's been on for one minute uh, just to Bring to the boil. I'll simmer them for 15 minutes so I'll get back to you then. Okay. Right, the apples are boiling now. Um, so I'm going to set the timer. I'm going to reduce the heat down to simmer. I'm going to simmer these for 15 minutes. Right, I'll get back to you after. I don't stand too close to the uh, steam, as I stand up the steam the lens up and you won't see anything. <laughs> Alright, I'll cover these now. The pan, I've already had the lid on. So I'll put the lid on and simmer them for 15 minutes and I'll get back to you in a minute. Right, meanwhile I'm going to measure the sugar. Three pounds of sugar or 1.25 kilos. Right, I'll get back to you in a bit. Right, my apples are simmering away, simmering away nicely. My next stage now is to take the, the, the rind off the, the lemon to add to the sugar, which I've measured out to three pounds. Um, well, let's see how it goes. This is, how, this is what I use to peel my lemon. As you can see, it doesn't, it doesn't take too much of the, the white of the lemon. That's all you need is the lemon rind and not the pith. The white pith will make it sour. So carefully peel off the lemon rind which will have to be added to the sugar. This is how I do it. Quite simple and you don't get the, uh, the, the white pith on the bottom. Right, that's so all you need is lemon zest. It's easy enough to do. Take your time doing it and it'll come off nicely. 
Right, we're going to have to put this in a bag afterwards because I'm going to have to save the, the lemon, stop it drying out. Uh, I'm going to need the lemon juice a bit later on. I think that will provide the acid for the fermentation process. Right, you don't have to be too fussy with it. Just take off as much of this zest as you can without taking that white stuff. There we are. Here's my lemon zest. And I'll add that to the wine, to the, to the sugar, sorry. And uh, stir it in. And when, uh, when the apples are finished boiling, or simmering then, should I say, uh, I'll add it to the, well, it cool, let it cool first, and then I'll add it to the sugar. All right, see you in a bit. Oh, by the way, what I'll do is I'll cut the rind up small to extract as much flavour from it as possible and um, I'll add it to the sugar. You've got to be careful at this stage, it's a very sharp knife. I don't think uh, it'll improve the flavour of adding a bit of blood <laughs> or, or pass the fingers. So I'll just be carefully, real quick, cut this up and I'll add it to the sugar. Hope you can see it alright. The sun's not shining very bright at the moment and uh, it's quite dark here. So there we are. That's my lemon zest. All cut up nicely, so we'll make it a bit smaller. There we are. That will be added to the sugar. And uh, proceed on to the next. Alright, the next stage now, I always buy these small bags, these zipper bags for purposes like this or saving something I want to keep fresh. So what I'll do is I'll pop that in there, extract as much air as possible, zip it up because I'm going to need that lemon a bit later on because um, I need to chop it in half. Squash the juice out and I think that, well I know that provides the acid for the fermentation to put to help with the fermentation of the the um, the wine right on to the next stage right as you can see the apples have finished their 15 minutes and they've broken down nicely what I'll do is I'll put a masher in there and mash as much of it as I can uh, allow it to cool and then strain onto the sugar and the lemon rind which you can see in there, which I've added already. Um, so it's so just a matter of a little bit of time now for the apples to uh, to cool off so I can strain them off and put them into the sugar. And uh, that'll be the next stage. Right, see you in a bit. Right, so I'm going to add the quarter pound of raisins. This is a tricky job. You have to chop the raisins, which is a slow job. Chop the raisins, add them to the sugar and the lemon rind. So I'll do that. When the juice of the apple is ready, cool enough, I'll add it to the sugar and the rest of the ingredients. The yeast nutrients, the yeast, well, a bit later on that will follow, a bit later on when it's cool, down to 21 degrees Celsius or, or 71, 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So I just need to chop these up, which is a slow job, as you can see. It's a tricky job. 
Yeah, again, you've got to watch your fingers. It's not easy. This will give it some nice flavour. Yeah, so I'll add these when I've finished and I'll let you know afterwards. Please mind your fingers when you're doing this. They're not easy to cut. Not easy to cut at all. It's a tricky process. I've done it before many a time before. So just keep your fingers clear from the blade when you're cutting. You don't have to be precise about it. Just cut them. It helps to break them down. Otherwise, if you don't cut them, you probably won't get them as much flavour out of them. As they'll just float on the surface. So by cutting them, it helps to extract the flavour from the raisins. Right, nearly done now. It's a slow job. Should have put one of those non-slip mats underneath my chopping board. Stop it moving. <laughs> Hope you can see it all right. That's a lot. And I'll just add these to the sugar and wait for everything to cool off. Enough to strain the apple juice off into the sugar. And then when it's cool enough, add the yeast nutrient and start the fermenting process. Oh, and the lemon juice. Mustn't forget the lemon juice. Right, well that's done then, as you can see, add those to sugar, and I'll catch in a bit. Everything's added to the sugar, hope you can see it alright, the light's not very good here, but the lemon, lemon uh, rind, the, the raisins and the sugar is all added to the bucket, so let's wait for everything to cool off now, strain it off. I'll catch on a bit in a bit. Right, I've ladled all the apples out of the pan into the straining bag. As you can see, I've strained off most of the juice. Uh, it's coming to an end now. So it's a very fine mesh. And I'm hanging up with a couple of pegs. <laughs> My little idea. But uh, I'll add then the remainder of the water to this because uh, I'm just under a gallon there now. I'm going to stir in the sugar and all the rest of it and then uh, when it cools down to 21 degrees Celsius, 70 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll uh, stir, uh, stir in the, the yeast and the nutrient and the lemon juice and uh, leave it for 10 days. Then I'll strain it off again into a demijohn 
and uh, fermented oats. Uh, that'll be part two. Right, I'll see you all in part two when all this is done. Uh, and I'll strain it off into a, a demijohn. And I'll see you all later. See you all again then, should I say. Alright. See you all in part two.